Hello and welcome to this Factorio tutorial. My name is Negative Root, and we're going to cover how to automate the blue science packs. So that's the third level of science in the game. You need it to research a whole bunch of things, and when you look at it, it's quite daunting. You require smart inserters, steel plates, advanced circuits, and batteries. You know all of these are multiple iteration builds. Uh, the only thing you can, well, you can't even get steel plate direct out of a furnace. You've got to first smelt an iron plate. Uh, advanced circuits, well, we covered that in the last episode. Be sure to go back and check it out. Batteries we covered earlier as well. Generally, they're a good idea to get building quite early in the piece because that allows you access to laser turrets. So in this episode, though, we're going to cover a, a nice build that I like to use uh, that gets blue science all sorted. Just does it and... Once you've got blue science, that is really it for the, the extremely complicated builds. Now, the way I like to do it is I like to just sort out each level as I go. So, with the blue science, right, we're going to need smart inserters. So, let's get smart inserters automated somewhere. Doesn't matter where, let's just get them automated somewhere. So, that's one. Going to need a couple of these. That's two, that's three, that's four. Right, so what we'll do is we're going to start by looking. Okay, so we've got our, our normal inserters, right, being built here for our green science. You all have those. A smart inserter, however, requires a fast inserter, which are here. Now, a fast inserter requires a normal inserter, an iron plate, an electronic circuit. Now, we've got all three things we need. We've got our green circuits here, our inserters here, and our iron plate here. We just need to put them together. So what we'll do is we'll throw down a factory that will make our fast inserters right here. Actually, we'll move that over because of the way that I've planned this out. Now, what I'll do to get the iron plate into the factory, I'll use a long-handed inserter. I'll build a couple of these. To get the normal inserters in the factory, I'll just use a fast inserter. And over here, what I will do is I'll do something like this. Uh, as my research continues to tick along. How am I going to do this? It's not an ideal amount of room, but we can make it work. Um, I'm just changing my design as I go, so I'm realizing I'm not going to have enough space to do everything that I want. Right, so we'll just back this up a little bit. Now each design will differ in a minor way for each factory that you build. Not er all factories will be the same. Keep that in mind. Be willing to change your design as, as it's required. Is if you stick rigidly to a few designs, you'll find that they're just not optimal for everything that you come across. Okay. Oops, wrong way. You can see, now I was planning originally to take these green circuits up here and around. However, that's going to get in the way of something else I'm going to plan to do shortly. So with this, what I can do now is I can place a bit of a chain here that takes advantage of whoops takes advantage of the inserter stack bonus just like that now this is going to be a smart inserter and this is going to be a blue inserter now here we need our iron plates which are over here and they're going to get grabbed by the long handed inserter we'll just move that along one make sure it all works nice they're both going to get grabbed by the long-handed inserter. This is going to be grabbed by the fast inserter. That's all pretty straightforward. Now, once it gets built, it'll be put into that crate, that'll put it into that crate, and then it'll put it into this. Now, this is normally a pretty smart way of doing things. Another way of making this build is actually to put a gap there and then a fast inserter in between them and direct insert. The reason I like to do it this way is because then you can allow a little bit of storage in between your factories. 
and later in the game you can just directly plonk down a passive provider here and have fast inserters in your logistics network straight off the bat without having to create a new factory now this will require the green circuit as well so I'll put down another long-handed inserter and I'll extend this line to here now I need to power all this up make sure it's going to work okie dokie so there we go that's all sorted now and what we need to do is we need to create an output for our green inserters and again we want to throttle this down because these are quite expensive in terms of your material cost make sure that keeps running now this might look a bit ugly but it all works nice and it's pretty compact so that is how you do the green inserter the smart inserter so the next thing in the blue science pack is going to be our steel plate now I've got some of those building down here and ideally what I would do is I would create a conveyor belt that takes them all the way up and into the factory for the sake of the exercise though I'll just steal these iron plates, uh, steel plates sorry and I'll just take them up here and what I will do like this, just like that. Now, say for example, I've brought in the iron plates on a conveyor. What I would do, this is going to mimic, yeah, bringing those steel plates in on a conveyor. So now I've got my inserters on one side. And my steel plate on the other, and that's two of my required items needed for blue science. We'll just run these over here for the moment. We'll close that down. Now the next two are going to be our advanced circuits and our batteries. So here is our advanced circuits being made. We will place a conveyor belt up here. Just grab some more conveyor belt. Okay, so there's our advanced circuits being added to a line. Now the last thing we requ require is batteries. Now again, what I would want to do is put these batteries on a conveyor belt and bring them into my factory. So for the sake of the exercises I'm not going to do. I'm just going to need to demonstrate what it would look like. So normally I'd bring them up and around and in and then add them to the system. Not the iron core. So now we have all four things required. A fairly straightforward build if you do things in a logical order. Most things you already have built. At most you'll normally only have to build the green inserter. So if you have the blue ins the yellow inserter, always build the blue inserter with some iron plate and green circuits and then you can just direct insert and get this working pretty much straight away with some more green circuits. Hmm. So I've just spotted a problem with my little factory. I don't have enough copper. So now once we've got those, all we do is we place down our factories that are going to create our blue science. And I'll probably place these a little bit closer together. Shift right click will copy up program and shift left click will paste it we will go here and here and we'll also get two long handed inserters to reach over that inside track and that will be we'll do it this way here and here power pole in the middle 
And there we go. So that is our blue science pack, all done and dusted. Most players like to do a build similar to this, because then you can double up the line and have another line of labs here, and then just use long-handed inserters to snag the blue science as it comes down the line. You can see that from how I've set it up, that's exactly what I was planning to do with this one. We'll place down some inserters of which we have a couple saved some power and there we go blue science automated and all working assuming of course that you bring in your steel and your batteries on conveyor belts that's key you want to do things as autom automatically as possible. You don't want to be running around placing things by hand if you can avoid it. With this build it does take a little bit of time to build up and get a bit of a backlog. It does place a quite a strong drain on the blue inserters and these will be building for quite a while. The green inserters being so expensive do take up a lot of resources and you'll find that a big line of blue science will actually outweigh your production quite quickly. As you can see two green science production factories have been enough for an entire six labs. Now you can use something along the lines of factor ratio to work out exactly how many of these you need to balance X amount of labs. As you get better at the game it's probably a good idea to do so. Hmm, what's happening here? I see. The batteries are jamming up the works. Let's just move this down one. Go. All done. So that's automating science pack threes. Thank you for joining me. I've been Negative Root. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.